All right, in this video, I'm going to look at some examples involving multiplication of decimals. So in part A here, we've got 82.45 times 16. We basically just do sort of our normal long division. And then I just count the number of digits that are to the right of my decimal places, and that'll tell me how far, that basically helps me find where the decimal place goes at the end. So we'll talk about that in a second. So let's do the multiplication. So 6 times 5 is 30, so we'll keep the 0, carry the 3. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 will be 27, so we'll keep the 7, carry the 2. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14, so we'll keep the 4, carry the 1. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 1 will be 49. Okay, then I'm going to drop a 0 down, and then I'm just going to multiply everything by 1. So we'll just get uh, 1 times 5, 1 times 4, 1 times 2, 1 times 8. I do my addition, 0 and 0 is 0, 7 plus 5 is 12, so we'll keep the 2, carry the 1. Uh, 1 plus 4 plus 4 will be 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, so let's see, uh, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 8 will be 13, and now it's just a matter of finding where the decimal place goes. I basically look to the right of my, uh, my decimal sign in each number, and I count the number of digits. So in our first number, there's two digits to the right. You could think about adding in a decimal sign. Well, there's really no digits to the right of our second number, 16. So I count up the total number of uh, digits that are to the right. So in this case, there's only two digits. It says that's how many places we move our decimal sign at the end. So I start all the way to the right of the number. Then I just move it one, two places. So what it says is, it says if we multiply 82.45 times 16, we'll be left with 1,319.20. Uh,